Genome assembly is basically merging fragments that are the sequence reads to reconstruct the original sequence. The main challenges that we face over here are that certain sequences may be repeats and there might be heterozygosity, basically different alleles, and we need to know when to differentiate them. There might be imperfect sequencing, that means we have incomplete coverage or certain errors in between, or some very big large genomes with complex structure. It may also be hard to assess the correctness of the particular assembly once we have created it. So there are two assembly paradigms which are overlapping the, sorry, the overlap graph assembly and the de Bruyne graph assembly which deals with building KMERS. The basic principle of overlap detection is that we compute all the pairwise alignments and then try to merge all of them together. So this works uh, with similarity with the shortest common super string problem where we find the shortest string that contains all the reads as substrings. From this, we are able to create an overlap graph, which is a directed graph presenting the reads as nodes and overlaps between the reads as arcs. So the overlap between the reads are obtained from the pairwise alignments and the arcs in the overlap graph are weighted according to the length of the overlap. Then in order to find the shortest common superstring with the overlap graph, we find a Hamiltonian path through the overlap graph. Basically, each node is visited exactly once. And we try to find such a path where the weight we encounter in total is minimized. So we can use even the negative uh, edge weights to find the path with lowest cost. This problem itself is like the traveling salesman problem with the Hamiltonian cycle. So it is an NP hard uh, solution where we need to solve the problem itself with heuristics. So we have a greedy heuristic where in each iteration we join the reads with the largest overlap. We can select the edge with the lowest cost over here and this can result in a quick answer, but the one drawback is that we can have a collapse of repeats. Like we will not know how many repeats we actually had in the original super string. This problem can be solved by using longer reads and spanning all repeats or having certain read pairs that meet in the middle of the repeat region. We can also mask the repeats during assembly. We try to simplify an overlap graph by removing redundant edges that skip one or two nodes. So we can try to prune the branches introduced by sequencing errors. Basically, those branches don't lead anywhere, so they're dead ends. So we can prune those off. Now the path through such an overlap graph will be the contig, and we can align multiple contigs together to assemble our genome. The second assembly paradigm is the Bruin graph, where we have a KMER, a substring of length K, where we can split it into a left and right uh, K minus one MER. So a node is a K minus one MER, where the arc or the directed edge is an overlap of K minus two between two K minus one MERs. We'll cover this in the next picture. An edge corresponds to a KMER from the input. It can be built in linear time without computing the overlaps. So basic principle over here is that we find a Eulerian path which uh, visits each edge exactly once. In comparison, Hamiltonian path visited each node exactly once. So Euler problem is going to be not NP hard. So this is going to be a linear solution without the need for a heuristic. The problem with De Bruyne graphs is that the repeats introduce more than once uh, in the Eulerian path. So we can have multiple Eulerian path. Moreover, the gap in sequence coverage and sequencing error can lead to De Bruyne graphs with several connected components. Moreover, there may be differences in coverage that can lead to a De Bruyne graph without a Eulerian path. So a workaround these problems is that we present an edge weight and it represents the different coverage. 
So each distinct k-mer is represented by one weighted edge. Now the main differences between overlap and De Bruijn graph is that overlap graph needs pairwise alignments to compute the overlap. De Bruijn graph does not require that. Overlap graph has to be assembled with a heuristic Hamiltonian path is NP hard because and the overlap graph cannot handle high read coverage with edge weights because the edge weights already encode the overlap length. So the positive part of the overlap graph over the De Bruijn is that they are able to handle repeats because they do not subdivide the reads and it is easier to find the reads in an overlap graph. We can search reads instead of k-mers for example uh, and De Bruijn graph requires us to read the k-mers. The output of both these paradigm programming paradigms gives us a contig and the contigs are the output of assemblers. We use the technique of scaffolding in order to reorient and order the contigs by incorporating some additional information. So we can have paired reads where the paired reads can bridge contigs because they may overlap in the middle so we know that they might be placed close to each other or far from each other. We can have paired reads that can detect contigs assembled backwards and scaffolding can be formalized as a graph construction problem where the contigs are nodes and linking the read pairs are edges. To find the linking read pairs, reads need to be remapped onto the assembled contigs. So this can happen with a software like Bowtie. And an ideal output from this should be one scaffold per chromosome. And we get a reordered contigue from this. In order to verify the uh, correctness of our assembly, we can try to do uh, checking of consistency. So we need to have consistency of mated reads. The regions with unusual depth of coverage to high potential collapse of repeat. If it's too low, then there is incorrect join and the, if there's a large number of mismatches between the assembled sequence and the sequencing reads. We can also look at accuracy where the reference genome assembly might be of a closely related organism and there should be the presence of highly conserved core genes. There can be comparison between the long reads generated for quality control.